Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go nine hours a day. We go 24 hours a day on the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Got my partner, Steve Rhodes, with us. We're going to be growling a problem with you out here today. Beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing, man. Let's take a look at one of our four agreements. Surrender and let go of the past. Whatever life takes away from you, let it go. When you surrender and let go of the past, you allow yourself to be fully alive in the moment. Letting go of the past means that you can enjoy the dream that is happening right here, right now. Yesterday's gone. Tomorrow's not here. What are we doing right now? Present, baby. We're waiting when for another top. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a present. Man. I'm telling you. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We had the Dow Industrials up 47, NASDAQ down 5, SPs off 2.5, gold contract up $2.90, trading at 1,652 an ounce. Silver up 21 cents to $31.12 an ounce. Platinum. Up 28 bucks at 1,717 an ounce. Copper up two pennies at 374 a pound. Light sweet crew down 16 ticks at 143.12. King dollar down uh, 259 ticks at 80.13. Now, between King dollar, folks, the euro and the yen today, we had big action. I mean, these currency markets are basically moving fast, folks, which, uh, you know, uh, very well could put a monster dislocation in the equity markets in about two seconds and i can tell you we've had three fast moves today out here in the euro and the dollar euro up by 47 ticks at 134.53 and the yen's at 93.54 the yen's a trip isn't it man it is and, yeah i mean it's just it absolutely is amazing folks okay you know and hey the bottom line is that um actually gave a great reversal signal a couple of uh, trading sessions ago and then yesterday went ahead and took that out right i mean a very strong and, and that's powerful the reversal and that, and that's signal. the second time it had done that like, yeah so, like, really well, bottom line is that you know even when we were doing the show in the morning we were saying hey the, the, the best trade out there is take yen dollars go buy u.s real estate and that's they, right. they took that's yen dollars sure. and they bought u.s bonds <laughs> smart yeah. yeah no doubt eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight give us a call folks Want well, to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at it. What do you have? Well, you know what? You got another day, you got another doll, you got another high, and it stayed over the high. And light volume. No volume. No <laughs> volume. No doubt. Now, it's going to get interesting here, folks, is this. We're at 15, 1961. Uh, so it closed over the 15, 18. That's saying, hey, you can go higher. That's the S&P. We went to the Dow Industrials. What happened with the Dow? It didn't hold price. And this is, this is a, it's, it's about as good as you can get. Um, and what you have is this, you're over the 14,000, big deal, like, like it means anything. But bottom line, you got the 14,038, because over the 14,019, you're at the uh, 14,018, you know. We'll see whether um, bottom line wants to test again. But that would be considered, yes, you know, you got a higher high, couldn't hold the price. We've been up here for 10 days with no juice. And lighter volume. So, you know, testing a, a, a swing point area or in the case of the Dow, we, we actually have set up here is you've got several patterns. You've got a three drive to a top pattern that's yes. out there. You've got a 1.272 butterfly as well. I so like you've got that. everything that's in place, and it's still just kind of holding. It's Much ho like when we were doing the uh, Go Long America tour no, back uh, about a year right. ago or so. And, right. you know, we had similar, we had multiple patterns no, in we did. the Russell 2000. Right. It took a little while to croak. Right. But it find, but those it, patterns basically held within range. They did. In fact, this one's holding better than that. I, I think all we need is the uh, S&P cash to yeah. come in. The yeah, S&P cash, what's happening, folks, that's the only one that hasn't, hasn't come in. Well, here, well, 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 uh, you, here we, we have the NASDAQ composite. Now, this is as wild as you get. The composite got to 21 hundredths of the high today. Yeah. So yeah. we hit 3196.91. The high is 3196.93. Uh, we did 1.7 versus 2.5. Um, so you have the S and P and you have the Russell. Yeah. And the S and P is one that gives me the most concern at the moment, just simply because it's over that high. Yeah, that's right. You know, still lighter volume, but we know it can still drift higher. Totally. But it hasn't, you know, it, it, it's really close to, uh, you know, now on the SPIs themselves, you just take a look at the volume there. And the SPY, the uh, butterfly pattern that's out there hasn't even, it's not close to being violated. In fact, it was the move up uh, on the Friday that actually completed that pattern. Almost oh, to the penny. I like that. You know, yeah. and so the you know, and so you, you know, the, the dislocation sometimes between the S and P cash versus the spies. You're dealing with dividends, right? You know, and adjustments right. or what have you. And, but the spies hit the fees. number, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. 
Uh, if we go over to the dollar index, now check this out. This is where, you know, th this is uh, really pretty cool because this is what it is. The dollar, folks, last Thursday um, went topside with conviction. It broke a B point, broke with volume, all of the above. The price target is 80.69. Now we hit 80.59 today. It's like, okay, um, you know, is it going to go get it? So this is, what, this is what we did. You got to a price point out there of the 80.59, gave it up, you're at 80.13, uh, but you know what? You got into a high, if you say you're going to back down, which we can say you're backing down, but you're backing down sure. with 27 versus 47,000. So this dollar man wants to go higher. And if we correlate that with gold, and this is where it gets really wild, is that gold again, you know, it's up 250, it got down to the 1639, it's the January 4th swing area there. Man. Yeah, 16... it's at 1620, you know, it seems like it just wants to get hit. It does. to give, Before it releases some information. I mean, right. You, can, you get right. below it, that's a hammer candle out there, and, and you're, right. you're kind of... And it's problematic. Slow, yeah. yeah. There's, there's no doubt about it. In fact, what it's done today, actually today, the low is it went ahead and made a, a, gar, a .786 Gartley butterfly. Oh, okay. So the 1641 area, basically. And they right. Nice, nice Fibonacci numbers come right. in there. And, uh, you know, for those folks that listen to me on the uh, morning shows, right. they know, because I show them that when a 786 butterfly or Gartley pattern fails, right. oftentimes it turns into a butterfly. And now, in this case here, it's got to get through the low of that, that. Well, and you can see it happened. It, it, when this, you know, so what happens, folks, is this. In the difference between a butterfly or a Gartley and a Tiger Gartley is that this broke that swing point with volume. Yeah. And that's problematic. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like, okay, man, you know. And it does, you know, when you put that in, in, in concert with the dollar, it does say that 1620 wants to get taxed. It, it does. It does. Um, after the close out here, let's see, uh, Rack Space, folks, okay. Uh, Rack Space Hosting, that closed at $74.98. She's trading at 69 bucks right now, and let's see what they have to say. So, okay, the sales are up 25%. Revenue is $353 million. Uh, they had two hundred ninety-two million in cash. The estimate, there it is, right there. So it's the top line estimate. They, you know, they, they, the market hates when top line estimates down because you but can the, make the bottom line. You, you can, can, you, you can you, manufacture. Yeah, you, you know, can. Yeah. You can. And with the top line estimate, folks, uh, was it was the estimate was three fifty-five, three hundred fifty-five million made three fifty-two. Um, Buffalo Wild Wings, a BWLD. Let's take a look at Buffalo Wild Wings. Whoops. B W L D. Okay, so she closed at eighty one oh seven. She's trading at seventy nine. Mm. And and no, and you know it's amazing though is that she gave everything back that she got. Uh, Buffalo Wild Wings, folks, uh, basically was going up. Uh, right, she took the let's see. Nah, nah, she's been going up all. She was going up all day. She she opened up at seventy seven bucks and forty six cents. Goes up to 81. Now she's uh, trading back at 78. Numbers go like this. So let's see. The revenue is 303 million. Comp sales are up 9.2 percent. Look at this one though. This is gonna, this is going to get whacked. Sales down year to date. Mm. That's fourth quarter. Now. Now, on the daily chart, it was coming into the uh, big, huge uh, gap downdraft. Yeah. Did it actually tag the uh, bottom of that? No, it just. Just shy of it. Oh, look at that. That's pretty Just cool. Just shy of it. So they, when this had gapped down, folks, in uh, October, what, what they had is this. It, it gapped down from $85 down to 72 That must have been numbers. That must have been the last, that was, that was the last earnings report. Yeah. And so the, the top of that gap is $82 flat out, and it went to eighty one fourteen, and it's not, yeah. it's <laughs> pretty wild, man. There's, there's no doubt about it. Um, you know, bonds. Let's go take a look at the bond market out here. So what we had with bonds... Bonds, yeah, this is light volume. We did 283,000 contracts, and I, I believe she's four or 500,000. She's coming into here. This is going to get interesting. So you're coming into, yeah, 509,000. 509,000. I, I think bonds are, are setting up a pretty significant bottom. Now, I, I, I use that, the, w the way that I gather that information, each, each Friday the CFTC 
puts out their uh, data, yes. uh, the commitment of traders' data. Right. And if you go follow the large, well, you can follow whatever you want. Basically, you break it down in between three areas. But if you go follow the large commercials, right. they've taken the largest net long position in over a year. So the big money, if you want to follow the money. Yeah. Is buying. That's what, yeah, that's what they're buying. saying. That's right. You stay right there, folks. Steve Roach, Tom O'Brien. I appreciate you growling and prowling out here with us. We had the Dow finish up 47. NASDAQ down 5. S&P's off 2.5. And, and, of course, the NASDAQ composite, all about Apple. Apple down 12 bucks. We're going to be right back.